Hello friends! Today I will show you how to add the powerful library called OpenCV to your Visual Studio C++ project. Why? Because we will use it in the upcoming videos to create the Zoomer Colorbot showcased in the last video. But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? Knowledge! That's a hacking group we've been reporting on that's claimed responsibility for recent attacks. The first option is delightfully simple. Use the official pre-built binaries. But by doing so, we will limit ourselves to the main modules. If we do want to use any of the extra modules, we will have to go with the second option, which is built from source. Easy option first. Navigate to the OpenCV's repository, link is in the description. Here we can find the latest build. As of making this video, this is version 4.4.0. Let's download the exe. It's just an self-extracting archive. After the download is complete, we run the exe and select where we want to store the archive. You can extract it wherever you want, just make sure to remember the path. I choose my D drive. After extraction has finished, we have a new folder called OpenCV. Once inside, we navigate to the bin folder inside build x64 vc15. We need to add this folder to the path variable. Now let's create a new Visual Studio project. Here we have to set the platform target to x64, since the pre-built binaries are built for that platform. Inside the project settings, we have to add the include directory. This directory is inside the OpenCV's build directory. And we also need to add the library directory. This one is next to the bin directory, so inside build x64 vc15. One more addition is needed, which is add the lib file in the additional dependencies. Since we are currently in debug configuration, we want to add the lib having a d at the end of the file name. If we want to use the release configuration, we have to add the other one instead. And that's already it. But let's write a small test program to check if we did not miss anything. I will load and display an image. We can do so with the help of imread. To use this method, we have to include img codecs and then we display it by using imshow. For this we have to include highgui.hpp, followed by wait key with parameter zero to keep the window open until we press any key. Let's test it. Works like a charm. This concludes the first option. But what if we want to use one or more of the extra modules like xfeatures2d, which includes the surf algorithm? Well, in that case, we have to use CMake to build the binaries ourselves. Here I will show you how to do that using CMake uh, GUI, but you could do it the same with the console commands. First download and install CMake from the link below if you don't have it already. Next download or clone OpenCV. I put the files into a new folder named source and created another folder named build. We also need to download the extra modules from a different repo with name opencv underslash contrib for contribution. Now in CMake, we have to specify the source as well as the build location. Here the source location is that of the normal opencv source. Then we hit configure. Make sure the right project is selected, in my case that's Visual Studio 16, and hit finish. After configuration is done, we see all kinds of parameters in the table on the main window. Here we have to set OpenCV Extra Modules Path to the Modules Path of our OpenCV Contrib folder. Make sure to use forward slash here. Also, right above, let's put a check mark next to the option Enable Non-Free. With this setting, we will also include algorithms that are not free to use for commercial purposes. Then we hit Configure again. After CMake is done configuring, we hit Generate followed by Open Project. Once the project opened, we right-click the solution in the Solution Explorer and hit Build Solution. 
fire up your favorite game or stare at the output. No matter what you do, the build process will take quite a while. If you want the release build as well, change to the release build and build again. After the build is finally done, we can find all the relevant files and folders, namely include, bin and lib inside the install directory. Now we just use those in the same way we did it with option 1. Make sure to add all the right lib files for your specific extra module or modules of choice. For now I do not need any of them, so I just change the include and library directory to the newly created folders and here we go. Duma Girl still is with us and is still depressed as always. Next time I will show you how to use OpenCV to detect stuff like the balls in Zuma by using pattern matching. Until then friends, don't be like Trump and stay safe. Talk to you soon.